This massive red back has just caught this little skink. Now, in Australia, one of the things you've got to deal with as a dad, as parents, raising kids, is there's all these things that can kill them. And it's not just when we go camping. It's right here in the garden or the playground. What did you have at, at school, Maureen? A brown snake. A brown snake. Yeah, eastern brown snake. I think they're in the top five most deadly snakes in the world. They're certainly in the top ten, and it was at their school. And we're in the town. We're not even in the country anymore. Different Australian parents have different strategies. Why do I need to wear this? So you don't die. But our strategy is awareness. Uh, we need to do a bit of we need to do a bit of cleaning up. And what have we got to be careful of as we're cleaning up? Red back. Snake. Three tongue lizards. That's not the correct answer. The correct answer is everything. What I want you to do, kids, is can you, that tire there? Yeah. Can you lift it up? Okay. All right. Now, how do you lift up, lift lift something up like that? lift something like that up? Yeah. And if there's a snake, it's going to run towards your foot more. So that was not very sensible. Well, it's probably not going to run. It's probably going to go off that way because it will probably see my well, foot. Well, no. When you lift direction. one edge, it's going to run towards the open edge which is where your foot was. True. I've, I've taught you better than this, Morag. <laughs> How have you survived in Australia to this age without dying when you exhibit such poor safety measures as that? I can't, Help I your can't. brother. Then why are you there? I have to think that to come running towards you. Daddy, get out of the way. That's a really good point. I'm trying to film. Be quiet. <laughs> okay, lift it. Lift, 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 lift. <gasps> what? What's there? Oh my God. What? There's Look at that! Ah, this is another one! Oh, well, there is two! Yeah. Right, no, no. Yeah, I know there is two! There's one? There, yes, there's a there, is. <laughs> <laughs> there is two, very clever. There's six at the front door. There's 14. Alright, okay, so we need to know how big it is, Angus, so put your hand next to it so nope. we can see. What? I will. A small egg. <laughs> why, why not? Because I like okay. it a bit. Alright. A well. small egg. Tell you what, we'll put the microphone that close. Here we go. There it is. There. Oh my oh, God! Oh, she's away. One. Now that's a that's a that's a medium to small one, but this one down here, this big, oh, this, this, this big mother. Or a beetle. I don't know. There she is. Oh, yeah. See, I'm not getting close to her. Oh, there. There we go. There's the two of them together. There's you can see, two. she's a lot bigger. That's almost as big as the one we saw the other day, killing a lizard. Yeah. This massive red back has just caught this little skink. That skink would have had it a long life if it didn't come here. I thought red backs were tiny. Well, they, you know, they can be big. This is a pretty big one. I would have put the, the camera too close because, because they ate that. Yeah. Just if they could, if they could, I'd going to keep her well fed for a long time. What? Does red, red back eat tiny things? Yeah, well, they, sometimes they eat quite big things, like, you know, this lizard. That small white. Well, it's a small lizard, but it's a big red back.
that's why. Okay, because it's so unusual to see redbacks outside of a crevice or a crack or whatever, but, you know, they're definitely so sheltered. But there's a little shelter, and now she's dragging it back. She's dragging it back in and she's going to eat it, eat it in peace and quiet. Yeah, because stuck out the outside, she'd be very vulnerable to a bird or something to come along and eating both her and her lizard. Yeah. All gone now. Now the question I've got for you is, did I do the right thing in letting nature take its course or should I have intervened and saved the lizard? Let me know what you think in the descriptions down below. And I hope you enjoyed this video to want to come back and see some more, in which case make sure you hit the subscribe button and tick the all bell notification so that you know when things come out you'll know. Uh, and also if you really like what we do, it'd be great if you could support me, support the channel, and uh, pop over to Patreon and contribute that way. Just a dollar a month makes or will make a big difference as uh, hopefully more and more of you start liking what I do. Something I have to think about more and more at the moment because finances are really tight. Uh, our wheelchair vehicle's been off the road since before Christmas and without it we can't go every, go anywhere as a family. Uh, it means one of us has to always stay home with the boy because we don't have the wheelchair vehicle. So yeah, anyway, catch you guys later and I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Well, you're right, there are some on the front door. Okay, now what you got to do is you can say, ah, there's another one. Not convincing. There's another one. That's, that is not convincing either. That's what I said. Oh, there's another one. That's not what you <laughs> said before. Before oh. you said, ah, there's another one. I didn't know it was shit. I said, oh, you there's another one. You squealed. I do it. I say it. You gotta, you gotta act as if you're scared. I'm not scared though. You were scared before because no, you squealed. <laughs> you finished. <laughs>